this is a test to see if the volume is actually working. I just recorded a long, long demonstration and of course the volume wasn't working. So, let me just start up Excel here. I'm going to show you what this code does. Go here, copy. Go into Excel. I'm using 2007. Click Visual Basic, click Insert, click Module, and paste it. And I click Save, and I'm just going to save it as Book 1. You want to save it as Excel Macro Enabled Workbook. Save, yes. Okay, you have two options. We want to run this macro, so you can hit this little green button here that says Run Sub User Form or hit F5. Or you can go up here and click Run. So when I click Run, it's going to run through every permutation in the alphabet from A to Z in columns basically 1 through 4. So there's four columns here. And what it's doing right now is running down column A. And I can't move it right now. But it's going to run from A, 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 A all the way to Z, 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 Z. And it'll take a little bit of time if you just give it some time. But for time's sake, I'm just going to stop it by hitting Escape right now. So we can see where we are. End. Okay. So as you can see, it's ran through the C's, the D's. Let's just see how far down it got. It got to the M's. And if we would have let it run, it would have gotten to the Z's. So that's what that does. Um, let's just delete that. And we'll start over so I can show you the other code. This is a combination code. And instead of doing permutations like we saw, this is going to use combinations. And instead of using letters, this uses numbers but you can easily modify this code and I'm not going to show you how but you can modify it to use letters instead of numbers so this time let's just hit this green button here and see what it does and you can see it's going to start from one and it's going to work its way up until it hits the very last combination this is going to give you every combination of number from without repeating the numbers. So every value, every cell is going to be unique. And those are the two macros. I'm just going to hit escape to stop it. And you click end and that's it. Thanks for watching. This is Excel Visual Basics.